It's a new day. It's a new Warframe update. Lua's Prey. Uh, it's a small one. It's what we're getting until um, in, until um, Duviri, which is presumably like early 2024 at this point. So we got new nodes in Lua. And I'm also going to go check out uh, the Chrysalis because I've heard that you can get uh, a resource while doing these missions that will give you um, use it as a currency. And and <clears throat> one of the Void Ghosts here on these are, man, Yonta, has got a store for us. So <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly peek over here first and go to Yonta. And see what this store is like. Liked me back when I was human. I mean, I hope you would. So, it's nice here that like if you if you just get unlucky and you don't get the drops when uh, when doing um, this mission, you can just use the the Thrax plasm you get and buy the stuff here instead. So you got Varuna and her parts, you got the, the Sarafang and its parts, the Paragol and its parts. So all of that, you got a new oh. Reconstruction of the past is possible. Okay, the Lua Circular. So there's a new Captura scene. But this is, looks like a new room in Lua as well. And we do know that there were secrets to find uh, in these missions. I'm going to assume this is exactly what we're talking about. And I'm going to be in... They've been a bit tight-lipped about that. And like just what we're going to find in these missions it was supposed to be sort of a surprise. And then four new Arcanes. Arcane Blessing on health pickup increases your max health, so you can just um, actually, as the mission progresses, if you're playing a long, endless mission, you can just give yourself more and more and more health as the mission goes on. That's pretty interesting. Arcane Rise uh, on reload, chance for damage to primary weapons, 60% oh, on reload. I mean, you can just fire one shot, reload, fire one shot, reload. Um, it's probably not going to take all that long to like get the buff. And then you can pretty consistently keep that buff up. Um, it's a Warframe mod that increases damage on your primary weapons. I'll have to see the scaling. It's like, how does it scale with uh, stuff like Primary Merciless? Is it like additive or multiplicative to, to see if it's actually going to give like a meaningful buff? Uh, could be good, could be useless, basically. Uh, on cold status effect, increase crit chance and multi-shot for 12 seconds. And you can just keep it up if you stack it. Cold status effects. Well, you can do that both with weapons and there are certain warframes that can do it. Uh, that one's pretty interesting. On electricity status effect, increase... Reload speed and multi-shot. That's for secondaries and this is for primaries. Secondary with electricity status effect. Reload speed and multi-shot. Reload speed and multi- I'm sure there are some secondaries you can do some bonkers stuff with this with. Um, primary with cold status effect. That sounds interesting. Yes. Goodbye for now. Obviously there are a couple of... Um, uh, weapons that have like innate cold, like the alt fire of the Quellor, I think. But that might not be exactly sort of like what the actual utility of this is. All right, we're actually gonna. I, I want to see what this is like in a team. I think. So this is just a survival. I'm gonna assume everyone is gonna be playing these now. Varuna, Rhino Prime, Siren Prime. Oh, they didn't want to play with me. How rude. Huh. Ah. Are we having trouble starting the mission? I mean, I assume that, like, everyone is trying to start the missions. Uh, Gara, Valkyr, Volt. Yeah, sure, whatever. I mean, this is the low ranked one. I don't think this is going to be particularly hard. But being in a four person team also means that I can be a bad teammate <laughs> so I can kind of just you know fuck off from the rest of the team to go look for secret spooky room 
that's gonna have something. Like, I'm not sure it's gonna be anything big. All right, tube mutts. Let's give our little rabbit a wee head start. And then off we go, hounds. Woof, woof. Woof woof. It's probably the just gonna be like a uh um... over the corrupted. It is enough for her that they are hostile. Oh, come on. Host migration, really? I don't understand what this is about. Are people like no, I don't like this team. I want a better team. Why are people doing host migrations left and right? Why are they being picky about who they play with? Look at that, now I'm in the wrong form. Ugh. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Sorry, people, I am not gonna do this mission in night form. That is one of the things that happens when you play uh, Equinox and you remove the um, the ability to shift forms. You switch that out with the helmet system. Um, Post-migrations can sometimes like force you into the other form, and then you're stuck in that form until you die. It's like death is how you reset back into the form you want to be in. But maybe it's just being overloaded a bit here, because, like, everyone is playing this. Everyone is just hammering this node. Um, so, obviously, like, you have to play this one once to access the higher level one. And the higher level one is probably where where the meat is at. That's where you want to be spending your time. Because it has, like, you know, increased drop chances on the stuff you want. Now, I already have a Varuna because I bought it. <laughs> because I'm a content creator, so... Um, I need to get it. Take a card, dreamer. Ooh, the asphyxiation of hearts. Huh, they just spawn in. Um, because you know you want you want two of them anyway. One for the helminth, and one for the um, just for playing. Stand by for life support. Stand by for life support. Uh, but I haven't checked her out yet. So we got some stuff. Okay, we got the Lone Guardian. You know, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna follow the Lone Guardian. Everyone else, they can do their stuff if they want to. I heard a beep. Did my Helio scan the Lone Guardian? Is that what happened? What is up with these host migrations? I do not understand. Now I'm starting to think that people aren't leaving. Now I'm starting to think it's some sort of instability and, and connectivity issues. Uh, that people are just getting booted out. Well, I guess I'm once again back in... Um, in day form until I die. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. I can be in day form for a long time. So is Helio scanning this guy? Did I get a second scan in just because we got to this um, um, this host migration? That would be nice. Is he refilling our life support? Is he waiting for me to activate this before he moves on? I have act yes, he's waiting for me to activate it until he moves on. That's interesting. No, no, okay, so there are some new enemies. That's nice. That's good to know, people. Bring your Helios. Bring your Helios because we are doing beeps. Man, look at this. If you have a Necromach, this would be an excellent place to deploy it. Uh, yeah, I know. Are they, like, not entering this place? Alright, so... Yes, Mesa is doing Necromech instead. I guess I have to do this uh, to advance the Lone Guardian. Obviously, it's a bit wasteful. No, no, he's still just standing there. Maybe he's just on a timer. Maybe it's not related to uh, activating these life supports. Maybe he just, he just moves when he wants to move. That could be it. Eh. We'll find out. You wanna... Or is he, is he waiting for me to go into... No, no, okay, now he's moving. 
Alright, so you don't have to activate life support. Gotcha. You don't have to be wasteful. You just wait and he'll keep on moving. Now these look like the uh, the Duviri Guardians. It doesn't look like Teshin. Teshin has two swords. So we're gonna get something. Which is probably gonna be some sort of precursor to Duviri. Seems like he's just advancing from port. So now I'm gonna try to not activate this. And then we're gonna see what happens. Pick up some resources. I don't know if I have to... Oh! Is that some new Drax to scan? Yes. New kinds of Drax. I don't know if you have to stick with him for him to advance. Or if he's just gonna advance by himself uh, regardless of what I do. We'll find out. This is me just looking at this with, with brand new eyes. Just like all of you guys. Now he has been standing here for a while and he is not moving. Now I was like, do I have to activate this? Them with something uh, no, no, he started moving. Tenno, the Void has summoned a new presence and it craves our life support. Destroy these manifestations. Alright. Got through those pretty quickly. Once again following this guy. Uh, let's see. I wanted to find out, like, is he, is he backtracking or is he going somewhere new? It would be slightly annoying if it was backtracking. I wonder if this is like a Duviri music. Because you can only hear this music when you're standing close to this, this guardian. If I go outside of the radius, the music stops. It feels like this is all like a big teaser. For Duviri, right? That is what it feels like. Alright, so where did he go? Here he is. Do not tell me that he's like stuck in the environment or something. Because that would make me... A mighty angry boy. It does not appear like he's moving. So is... Is this where the secret is? Ah! Found him. So far, he's just chilling. Wonder if he's gonna move from here. Oh! What the hell? Is it like bugging out? Oh no, it's bugging out. Is he like stuck in the environment or something? He was pointing at something. And then... Oh, I think he might actually be stuck in the environment. Oh, that is... That is a bad. That is a bad. Alright. Uh, do I have to follow him? Is he leading us to somewhere we can't find without him? Or would it be possible to just get there uh, by myself without being guided? Well, I guess we'll have to find out because this guy seems stuck. The queens have sought out warframes before. Vor sought to present them with yours. 
We cannot let the worm have Varuna. That is the first time I've heard Vor mentioned in the game in a very long time. So is he still stuck? Yeah, he's still stuck. That is a problem. Okay, so it's flickering again. Does that mean he's gonna try to move? Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to move. Oh, did he do it? Did he unstuck himself? Yes, he did. Okay, he managed to unstuck himself, but this... Oh, Ooh, day one, people. This is day one of a new... Uh... Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh, we got... Oh, this is the bad touch. Woo. Yeah. This is not... I don't think it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> Music is all bugged out. Like, I'm gonna guess this happened because he got uh, stuck in the environment. And it sort of like broke his pathing or something. And now he's just, he's trying to reset. He's trying to reset himself. Oh. Oh, he did it, but now he's, uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's sinking. Ooh, oh, that's bad. He is, he is going through the floor. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is all bad. This is all wrong. Oh, this is all wrong. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Oh, this is not how it was supposed to go down. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> he's trying. Now, from now on, people, this is the content. Uh, did he just fall through the world? Did he just fall through the world? Did he just fall through the world? No. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's going somewhere else now. <sighs> well. I'm gonna go inspect this way. This is the way he was going before... Uh, before he... The game broke again. So it might actually be, you know... Somewhere in this direction. Actually. I guess we'll, we'll have a... We'll have a... A quick peek. Quick peek. Okay, so I guess... I guess he's back here. That's fine. I didn't find anything else uh, by myself uh, anyway. And uh, he seems to no longer fall through the world. He seems to be sitting down like he's supposed to. And uh, the music seems to be uh, working uh, normally again. So I guess we might be back on track. Obviously, I was going to stay until the 20-minute mark anyway to get that, you know, C-rotation reward. Here. For Which is a bit jankier than I had expected. Okay, he wants to go over here again. But maybe this time uh, it'll work, because now he doesn't appear to be bugged out again anymore. So he's going to try to walk in the same path again as before. But maybe this time he won't fall through the world. That's what we're hoping for. He's a champion. He did manage to reset his pathing. Now he's back on track. 
I knew you could do it. I never doubted you for a second, Void Ghost. <laughs> Looks like we're chilling again. Now, I hope people aren't gonna extract at the 20 minute mark because I want to follow this ghost to see where he's going. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Mesa is gonna stay. I haven't seen all that much of the two other guys, so they they don't seem to care about this ghost, but the Mesa seems to care about the ghost. Just like I am. So, we're probably gonna stick around. Okay, he wants to go back down again. But we were just up there. You're just going back. I'm trying to follow you, but... You're not really leading us anywhere. And I looked at all of these other side rooms back here, so that's not it. Wonder how long you're supposed to follow this guy for until he actually leads you to whatever secret room there was. Apparently, apparently, 20 minutes was not enough. Good to know, I guess. Please tell me he's not going all the way back to the beginning. Is he just going back and forth to places we've already been? Because now we're just going back somewhere we've already been. Okay, we got second host migration, which means I'm back in day form. Uh, but now my sword is out. <laughs> now, now my sword is stuck in out mode. And uh, now everyone else is gone. You know what? There is still a person here. That's nice. Thought I was alone, but I am not. Maybe I got it all wrong. Maybe this guy isn't actually leading me anywhere. Maybe he is just, you know, uh, a, a small area where you can summon Necromex and like, that's it. That's what he is. That's all he's supposed to be. But Reb said that there were secrets in here. I want to find those secrets. Alright, so I stopped following him. A lovely little song. And just me. started exploring Did instead. Drown out the desperate barking from the friends you left behind, dreamer. Sit, Varuna. Sit! <laughs> I found this. I wonder what I can do with this. Can't attack it. Can't... <laughs> well, I could void dash it through it. Actually. Doesn't appear that I can go down here. Where you can see the earth from Oculists, here. If they scan you, sentient fighters won't be far behind. Is there anything in this room? They know you're here. Prepare for sentient fighters. It obviously looks a lot like uh, Lloyd's room. You got the same sort of like, oh, there's a, someone supposed to be standing here. You got the four wolf heads, so there's your Varuna reference. But I don't see that there's necessarily anything you can do in this room. We basically just found this room. Now I'm looking for like, is there anything of significance in this room? Or is it like literally just, oh, we made a new room. And I guess you can use it in like a capture scene or something. Because I'm, I'm looking through, I'm looking through the glass here, and it's obviously, it's obviously showing us the void in the reflection. But is that it? Is it just that we're seeing the void? Is it? If, if am I supposed to look through this thing at a specific angle or something? It's like, what am I supposed to be seeing in here? Anything? Maybe nothing? It's 
seems like a big nothing. Well, I haven't been able to figure out what I'm supposed to do in this room. And I've been in here for 40 minutes, so... I'm gonna say that that is my call sign. To get out of here. Manifestations must not be allowed a foothold on Lua. Now, I don't know. Maybe this guy bugged out. Maybe this guy was supposed to lead me to this room. Maybe something was supposed to happen uh, when this guy leads me to this room. I'm just gonna go and collect this Thrax Plasm over here. But then I'm pretty much out. Because I ain't been able to find nothing. Well, that's that run, I guess. Seven Thrax Plasms. Some Axie Relics. Some Neo Relics. And the Warblade. That's about it. Found the room. Didn't find anything to do in the room. May have gotten sequence broken. May have. Alright, well. Let's just get another crack at it. So I am now doing the... Level 80 to 100 mission. I have been running it for... Almost 20 minutes. And it doesn't appear like anything is different. Um, it still appears like this this Dax ghost here uh, is merely walking in circles and isn't actually leading me anywhere. So so I guess that's just it. Standing inside the, his little bubble allows you to be in a necromech. It gives you more casting speed. Um, Sure. Uh, but it doesn't appear like anything is like happening from from you following him around or anything like that. Uh, so that appears to have been, unfortunately, uh, just a huge waste of time. Meanwhile, <laughs> there's been a party over here that I haven't been participating in. Oh my God! Look at all of this stuff. I wonder how he can be in a necromech when our dude is somewhere else. Man, I don't know. Well, now I know. Now I know that there is no real point uh, in following the ghost. At least it doesn't appear to be. Don't take my word for it, though. As people explore these systems more in depth over the coming days. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna like just, you know, figure out how this actually works. But, since we are at the 20 minute mark, I think, I think this is probably, uh, where I'm gonna check out of these. Take out the final tracks. There we go. Man, it is getting spicy here. It's like all Eximus all the time. But I think 20 minutes is good enough. That's usually like just the limit for staying in a survival mission anyway. If it's going by uh, a normal A, A, B, C rotation. I haven't looked if it's a different rotation of these, but it shouldn't be. It should just be normal A, A, B, C. Oh well. Alright. So it's just a uh, new survival mission that has a new room. You can go and look at it. It's a very fancy room. 
And it's a room you can get as a Captura scene. So that's about it, it seems. Now let's see what we get. Got the Saurofang blueprint, that's neat. Got another Axie Relic, got more Thraxplasm. And the barrel for the Perigale. Okay, that, yeah, yeah, so... It seems like just... Drop rates aren't too bad. Got two of the thingies just from one run. And uh, just being able to buy all the stuff that you uh, that you didn't find. It's kind of nice to just make sure, like, you don't, you don't have to do these missions forever. You don't have to grind them uh, just ad infinitum. Just, just run them a couple of times, get some stuff, and and whatever you don't get, just, uh, just, just pick it up from, um, um, from Yonta. Appears everyone else wants to stay. Good for them. I respect that. But it ain't me, babe. I am Audi. In about 30 seconds. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I guess, I guess I have now explored Lua's Prey. Sort of like most of it. Uh, it's just, just grind this mission. Just run this mission over and over again. And, um... Oh yeah, I was gonna say I can also farm for for uh, the new Prime, right? For Baruch Prime, but no, he's not out yet. So these help you. Don't spend all of your standing <laughs> on Relic Packs. I'm gonna buy one so I can get more standing. But no, no, make sure that make sure that your standing is maxed out when when he that? drops, so that you can you There's can pick up uh, a bunch of Relic Packs and hopefully start start farming for him right away all right well just time to start grinding i guess lua awaits and i will see you guys tomorrow for something completely different